Hey, Charlie. Hey, Ezra. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day. It's time for a story. The Snowy Day. Ezra by Ezra Jack Keats. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night and it covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, 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 his feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. See his feet? He walked with his toes pointing in like this. So first they were out and then they were pointed in. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. It was a stick. A stick that was just right for smacking snow-covered trees. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. The he thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. There's the big boys. And there's Peter. So he made a smiling snowman. And he made angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great big tall heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. Goes up and comes down. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He picked it, packed it around and packed it round and firm and put the snowball into his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and thought and thought about them thought about all his adventures while he was in the tub. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there and he felt very sad. Oh, he was very sad. He went to sleep. No snowball. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up in his dream, when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. The end. The snowy day.
by Ezra Jack Keats. Hope you liked it. Bye-bye.